Hey guys, it's Chelsea. And Daisy from Pittsburgh CW Green Team. We're here getting a behind the scenes look at Monster Jam taking place this weekend at PPG Paints Arena. We're gonna interview some of the drivers and get a closer look at some of the trucks. I'm here with Justin, the Monster Jam driver of Megalodon. And you're relatively new. It's like your month anniversary here with the show. Tell us about that. Yeah, I, I debuted. My first competition was actually January 7th in Nashville. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm fairly new to this. We've been, I've been driving for over a year. I just, that was my first competition. So uh, still getting more comfortable and comfortable with the truck each and every weekend. So. It's, uh, it's getting better for sure. And it's a dream come true, right? Tell us a little bit about the history of you and Monster Jam. Yeah, I've been in motorsports my whole life. I raced dirt bikes my entire life. Did that professionally for eight years. And then this came along and I jumped on it. I always thought, you know, Monster Jam was like a far-fetched dream to drive a monster truck. Um, and, you know, it just, it came up. So I jumped on it and I'm loving every minute of it. Now, it's Monster Jam Triple Threat because you drive these three vehicles here. Can you tell us a little bit about each one? Yeah, it's uh, you, you, we definitely got to be athletes because we're going from Monster Jam truck, then ho running, hopping in the Speedster, and then running, changing, hopping on the ATVs, back and forth, back and forth, and just to put on a show, a nonstop show for all the fans. And it's uh, you definitely got to be in shape, that's for sure. So what can you tell us about a Megalodon? Uh, it's just a prehistoric shark. It's like, I think, three times the size of a great white. Um, biggest shark that ever lived, so that just makes it that much better to be a Monster Jam truck. It's huge. And is that your favorite truck, or do you secretly envy one of the other drivers? Well, of course it's my favorite. I mean, it's got to be, right? Uh, no, I, I always, growing up, I like Max D. Uh, Max D was always my favorite, but now I'm, I got my own truck, so it's got to be my favorite. All right, well, thank you for talking with us today, and have fun at the show tonight. We're here with Pennsylvania native J.R. Seesock. Tell us a little bit about your truck. I'm the driver of the Monster Rottweiler Monster Jam truck. We have seven competitions here this weekend in three different vehicles. It's the best show on earth. How did you get involved in Monster Jam? My dad, he started when, before I was born. He had his very first truck. There's actually pictures of me in diapers trying to help him. And I just kind of just grew up in it, you know, in a shop with him, going down the road, sitting in his stands, watching him. And then as I got older, I started crewing, working on the trucks, and I finally got the chance to drive. And here I am, 25 years later. So even though your dad got you involved, who else do you look up to in the Monster Jam series? There's a lot of different Monster Jam drivers that I look up to. You know, my dad's definitely one of the big ones, but Tom Mintz, our trainer out there at Monster Jam University, I've known him since I was a little kid, and each year he always taught me different things and learned about the trucks, and we got to go out there to Monster Jam University to be trained. He's in our ear telling us how to hit the jumps a little harder if we get out of control and have to save it, just giving us little tips. And without him and his information, we wouldn't be where we're at today. Yeah. Well, since you got started as a little kid, what advice would you give other little kids that are interested in becoming Monster Jam drivers? Just follow your dream, never give up. You know, at one point I didn't think this was possible for myself and then actually I had a little girl come into my life, my daughter, she's three years old. And just once I seen her, I wanted to be a role model. I knew I had to step up and I want her to know that no matter what you do in life, as long as you try hard and it's your goal, never give up and it can happen. Goals are, dreams are achievable. That's great advice and thank you so much for talking with us no today. No problem, no problem. Thank you for coming out here and hope you guys enjoy the show this weekend. All right, and be sure to come and check out Monster Jam Triple Threat Series here at PPG Paints Arena this weekend.